A lot of the big gamblers really from the London poker scene got into the fray there. They were playing like three straddles at this stage. I mean, it was really a wide open game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was lively. It was one of my favorite, favorite <laughs> sessions, this one. I played it, really enjoyed it, live action. It's hard to think back, but at that time you were kind of on a, a, a bit of a not, not a, not a the super deep bankroll at that time. I was broke. You? Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah, I was <laughs> broke and I got staked into the game, and you know, I think I won like twenty three thousand yeah. pounds, and I was like out, <laughs> loving life. Yeah, yeah I was so happy. I, I think I saw still. about eight hundred pounds of that light, like, <laughs> but I was still out. So. Ten, two, eight. But yeah, so Viffer, you know, the way he p was playing, I mean. For him to have aces here is just uh, a huge hand, considering what he, the way he knows Locke has been playing. And Eight. Yeah, Viffo's definitely got an unorthodox style. Five he just bets so fast and big, and a lot of the time he doesn't even give himself time to think. He just reacts to cards as they come off. Question is, do you like this river bet, or he's going to make a big one, Viffer, or is it okay in the scheme of the whole thing about Phil Locke? I think if I played like Viffer had been playing in this, I think I prefer, an, you know, a big river bet. It's just because a lot of draws missed and, 9, uh, you know, flush draws missed and doesn't ever expect to, uh, Phil to fold a 10. I don't think he said like too many words this entire <laughs> session, Lock. He just played the nutter baller. <laughs> so I love the way he raised. <laughs> but uh, he actually played this hand quite well. I think he makes the pass here. Does he, I think he played it well. I, I don't mind the bet. Oh, bet. I played so bad. You know, the way Viffa plays, he's bluffing a lot and in his end of every pot. So you've got to like value bet thin when you play like that. I'm just Hollywood and actually. I don't really have nothing. I just want everybody to think I do. God, you're so dumb. I don't know what to do. There's Roberto Romanello in the background on the phone. Seven Biggest pot he's seen in a while. He get in this game as well. Gonna hurt no matter what. <laughs> yeah. This is like a no-win situation here. Yeah, I never saw this hand because I think I was sleeping after I played or I hadn't come on the, into the game yet, but I like the way Phil played it and I like the way Viffer played it so far. by the way, so you guys know. Viffer goes on to win over 100,000 pounds in this game, and this is probably one of the reasons why that he can make the lay down. Wow. Yeah. That's Oh, it's a good fold. Near people in the background shouting good fold, but <laughs> don't know how they know. <laughs> Channing will tell them it's a bad fold, but Channing just taking the needle. Yeah, Channing's always trying to unravel everybody at the table. 